Soil really is the powerhouse of what's running your operation. It's what is enabling you to be successful. It's what's enabling an operation to be free of diseases, pests, weeds, all of these issues that we're often facing. And if we don't look after soil health, that's where the costs really start mounting in. So a healthy soil, when we start to dig a hole and take a look, there's a range of visual clues that we're looking for. If we're really thinking about how do we capture sunlight energy, that is around particularly having diversity of species, enabling plants to grow a little higher so they can capture more sunlight energy. And as they bring that sunlight energy down into the soil, that enables them to stimulate microbiology that are gonna be breaking down and decomposing anything that's happening in the soil. One of the most important aspects for resilience and how do we face an uncertain climate is how does water move through this soil profile? So when we have aggregate um, stability and we have porosity, this means that when water enters the soil, instead of going straight down and through, or straight into this top area and then evaporating, we have water that's able to move evenly through that profile and it'll move like a capillary action. So we actually see water moving from different parts of the soil profile and enabling that plant to have water through the growing season. So if we have any breakdowns in this porosity, then what we'll see is um, water stress on plants. We're gonna see more stress um, at all, you're gonna require more irrigation in these systems. What we don't wanna see is tight compaction zones here because that's gonna be limiting air and water movement and it's really gonna be restricting the success of your operation. You'll often find that plant roots are then gonna grow sideways. We're not gonna see that penetration of plant roots further down and you're gonna find that instead of uh, farming potentially on this six inches or 12 inches, you're really just um, farming or growing in that top one inch. What we find in nearly 90% of the operations where we're digging holes is we're finding these compaction layers. Um, and these compaction layers could be in that top one inch and you'll see soils that are incredibly tight. There won't be any air or water movement through there whatsoever. Um, we won't see this porosity where you're seeing these crumbs. What you see are just flat plates. Um, that could start with crusting on the soil surface and it could be plates all the way down through that profile. You might find hard pans and plates further down as well. And, and you'll see this because the plant root growth will be restricted. So often the roots will concentrate in these compacted areas. Uh, then the roots might be able to move down and then they'll hit a hard pan and then they'll move sideways. The key to success for any parks operation is that we have an engine room that's functioning right here, that we have porosity and air and water that's free to move right through that profile.